Hello, today I'm going to show you how to put faces into circles. This is the 2019 version because Canvas had a bit of an update. So I thought I would redo this video, keep it more concise and just show you how to put faces in circles. Now you will have seen faces in circles on people's websites where you're scrolling down and they've either got testimonials and there's the person's head. Um, and then their name and their testimonial, or you might see it, um, well, you might want to use it for your own face on your own sales page, just it looks nice in a circle. Um, it's if you've got a team and you want to showcase the team, you might like it to be in round frames. And once I show you how this feature works in Canva, you might like to use different shape frames as well if you want a more arty slant on your um, website, if you just want to get creative and have some fun. So let's do a screen share. Now, um, if you haven't yet, uh, you can sign up for this, oh, sign up with your email on this website, canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. And basically, it's a free graphic design tool. You can do a lot of stuff. They have a lot of cool templates. Obviously, you can't do everything that you can in, say, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe InDesign or Illustrator, but... If you don't know what any of those things are or you've tried to use them and had a meltdown or you're just a startup entrepreneur um, or you just want to save money, you just want simple designs, you don't need really complex designs, Canva is really useful for all of that. Now, um, I have the paid version of Canva and I do have another video about the difference between the paid version and the free version, but I should probably update that because since then, um, what you get in the paid version is a little bit different again because there's just been a recent update in the last six months. So if my screen looks a little different to yours or I um, do something a little different, it may just be that I have the paid version, Canva for work maybe, and you might have the free version. But if you've just signed up, you'll have all the features of the full version for the first 14 days or something. Now, um, for a screen, circle it's best if you have a square design so what i've got here under create a design are all the ones that i use a lot but otherwise you could just type in here instagram because instagram posts are 1080 by 1080 which is square or you can type click custom dimensions and then you can make it whatever size you want like you might just want it 800 by 800 um, that's a good size for a facebook ad at the moment as well in case you're doing that kind of thing so you open up a design. It's got heaps of cool templates here that you can use. But in the for what we're doing, we want to go to elements, click on elements, and then we want frames. Now, the round frame is right there for me because I use it a lot and that's possibly why they put it there. But you can also click all um, and that will show you all the different kinds of frames that are available. They have these really cool um you know, iPhone and laptop layout ones now, which is cool. You can do a book mock-up now. That's all really new. I love these painterly ones, but let's just stick to them. Let's just stick to what I said I was going to show you. So I would make this as big as it can go, but you will obviously have to create it and then see how it looks in your website or sales page. And if you need it to be smaller, then you can come back and make it smaller. So you get the frame and then you just go to uploads and... If you haven't, if you've just joined, you won't have much here, but this is all the images that you can bring in. So you can grab a picture of yourself and drag it and it should just fill up the frame on its own. If it's positioned a bit funny and not happy with where you're sitting in it, you can click the image and the word crop should show up and then you can drag yourself around. You can make it bigger um, so that like it's all face, which is a little bit imposing. But look, let's just do it just for the sake of the argument. And then when you click done, you'll see how it looks. And then you can click and adjust the crop again. So um, I need to actually go out a bit so I can get to my whole photo. Just get it back to about that size. Looks pretty good. It's a bit scarfy now, but what can you do? This is not the like greatest photo. The light's not amazing and um, it's not necessarily the best picture for the job. You probably want something that looks you know, nice and professional. But basically, there's the design. And also, right now, it looks like I'm filling up a lot of that square. But once it's in a big white page, um, it won't be such a big deal. It won't feel like, oh, my God, it's all circle. But you can totally adjust it just by grabbing the corner, like clicking the design, sliding it in. And then if you click off and then come back, you can position it. And these purple lines that are appearing are showing us the center of the design. Thank you, Canva. 
Now, just for the sake of the argument, I'd, um, that's basically the end of that part of the tutorial. So if you want to sign off, go for it. There are just other frames that are quite fun. Like if you want to do a mobile phone mock-up or like if you're like me and you like these um, painterly ones, there's heaps. And there's also like ones like this that will split the image. I think that looks really cool. There's letter ones now. Like Canva has really great templates and you can have heaps of fun with it. Oh, look at this one. That's pretty cool. Anyway, you can just have, I just like have fun on Canva. <laughs> I find this fun, but sometimes it does give me the raging willy nillies as well. Like sometimes I feel like it's not behaving and usually I just have to then, you know, <laughs> just walk away, have a little cup of tea and come back later. Like, close my design and anytime you know if it's glitching you can click file and you can say save and that will manually save it and I really recommend that you try to remember to save it quite frequently because that is the most common horror story that happens with me in Canva is I do all this work and my browser's gone on the blink and it hasn't saved so I would suggest you know if you're doing a word-based document that you write it in a word doc something that's really secure and offline and then when you come to Canva you're just pasting so if it doesn't save your design, then all you're gonna lose is a little bit of time. You're not gonna lose all your copywriting as well. Oh, the final step, guys, actually, is to download it. So um, I'm gonna leave that as it is. You can either click publish and then you get options, or this icon here just means to download. I, depending on how you're going to use this, um, like a pro option, which is the paid version, is you can get a transparent background. So you have only the circle and no white in the background, um, but you have to choose PNG file type for that. Um, I actually, even though they say suggested for PNG, for most website functions, I actually re recommend JPEG. It's, it's big enough, you know, how big do you need it? And then because I've made a multi-page design I need to choose which pages if you choose or if you don't select just one page it will download it all as a zip otherwise I'm just going to choose that page the face in the circle and download that and it just says this and then I have a Mac it all my downloads just land in my download folder and in the meantime they pop down here on my bar so I'm just going to show it in the finder and actually you guys won't see that because that's opened up in another window but my designs there I can show you if you really want <laughs> let's have a look at it um, Finder. This is my downloads folder and here's my design. And then I can look at it, I can put it on my website, I can do all kinds of things. For my website, I'd probably rename it um, for SEO purposes, like I would say Natasha Berta Marketing, Bega or something. Bega is where I live. That's probably enough for today. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, it's definitely more up to date. I will make another video about canva for work uh, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you would like to hear when i upload a new video because if you subscribe then you'll get notified that um like you know in your facebook home it will sort of say oh natasha's put out a new video so if you want to see more from me you can subscribe if you liked this you could like it with a by clicking the thumbs up but you know whatever feels good. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.